More emotional testimony today in the Southside explosion trial that's underway. Yeah, Mark Leonard is accused of leading the conspiracy that destroyed much of the Richmond Hill neighborhood. Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk is in South Bend for us where that case was moved because of pretrial publicity. Rich? Scott, the trial began late today. It is running late into the... The financial and emotional toll of the explosion is being added up for jurors one homeowner at a time. Each telling their story of a home destroyed or badly damaged, rebuilding costs totaling hundreds of thousands of dollars and so much more. Spencer Lloyd described his 80-year-old grandmother the night of the explosion. Thrown from her bed, cut and bleeding, she was confused and disoriented, asking, what am I going to do? Over and over again, like a tape on a loop, he testified, I didn't know what to tell her. Eileen Brown told jurors her 83-year-old mother couldn't move back into her rebuilt home. Her physical and mental health deteriorated. It accelerated her dementia, she testified. After witnessing the explosion, a teenager warned his family, then ran to rescue a neighbor. He came home bloody. Vicki Koner testifying, he collapsed on the ground. He was sobbing. The explosion destroyed or damaged more than 100 homes in the Richmond Hill neighborhood. Dion and Jennifer Longworth died in their burning home. John Hollingsworth testified how he and another neighbor found Dion trapped in the basement. How's my wife? Are you going to be able to help me? Hollingsworth said he shouted through a small hole. She's upstairs in the bedroom. I was hesitant to say there was no upstairs, he said. Hollingsworth said firefighters were close enough to grab hold of the young man but couldn't pull him free before the house was engulfed in flames. Late today, another neighbor took the witness stand. He just on the afternoon prior to the explosion, he saw Mark Leonard's van with two men in it. Coming out of the house, he said they were in a hurry to get out of there and their van shot out of the neighborhood. That is important because it occurred about the time prosecutors claim Mark Leonard's accomplices used his van to go to Maserati Shirley's home, turn the gas on, and rig it to explode. Reporting live from South Bend, Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.